Hello, this is Tim from the Estate Master Help Desk in Sydney, Australia, and in this movie we'll be talking about uh, the features in Estate Master DM, or Development Management. Estate Master Development Management forms part of the Estate Master Development Suite, a collection of products that, when combined, can give you a clearer picture of your project, both in projected figures and in actual figures. Uh, the other elements of the suite include uh, DF, or Development Feasibility, which is designed to provide developers, valuers, investors, and lending institutions a powerful, flexible, and easy-to-use evaluation tool. And CC, Corporate Consolidation and Reporting. This allows you to merge both feasibility and management cash flows, and also to track stage developments or company-wide portfolios. But as for development management, which we'll be speaking about here, this program provides developers with a powerful, flexible tool to track the development cash flow from commencement all the way through to completion, tracking original and historical budgets with actual expenditures and those variances as the project progresses. So what are the main features of DM? What can DM do? Well, you can import feasibilities created in Estate Master DF and then set them as your original budget. You can manage and track a project's costs and revenues over time, including actuals to date, forecasts to completion, commitments, and accruals. An Estate Master DM can report on budget variances between the current month and the original and previous forecasts by overriding forecast data with actuals. And it will update forecasts on key performance indicators, including profit, net present value, and internal rate of return. It will import actual data from your accounting system using customizable account codes. And it will analyze risk using sensitivity testing and probability analysis. When you first install Estate Master, you will see a shortcut with the Estate Master logo in your Windows toolbar. Pressing this will present the Estate Master welcome screen. From here, you can not only open Estate Master DM, but any other Estate Master package you may have. Or, you can try a 14-day trial of an Estate Master package you'd like to evaluate. As well as some useful links to contact the Estate Master support desk, investigate training options, see what else is new at Estate Master, and other useful links. To open DM, just choose Open next to a previously used DM file from the list, or press Run DM for a brand new file. Although Estate Master DM is designed in the Microsoft.NET platform for faster processing and smaller file sizes, you'll see it has retained a familiar spreadsheet interface, including all the benefits of being able to link cells, insert your own worksheets, and apply many other formulas and functions found in Excel. The DM Summary page is one of the many reporting features that track the project against various forecasts and budgets, which are defined by the user throughout the project's lifecycle. Once these budgets are set and locked away, DM allows you to monitor these budgets going forward. As you move through your project, in this case in March 2017, the summary page provides you with forecasts for the current month, the previous month, along with variances to all previous forecasts and budgets. For example, in this particular project, the original feasibility estimated a net profit of just over $46 million and an internal rate of return of almost 22%. But as the summary sheet shows, the profit and IRR have steadily declined. In the current month, changes have been made to increase profit and bring these performance indicators back up. All this information provides you with a clear picture of where your project currently stands and where it has been historically on a month-by-month -month basis. With good information, you'll be able to instigate corrective measures and manage your project in a more proactive manner. So how do we get started? Well, there are initially two ways to set up your DM project. The first and easiest way is by importing a feasibility that has been created in a State Master DF, or Development Feasibility. 
Importing data from DF is as simple as choosing the import facility and then choosing your DF file. Once the feasibility data has been imported into the DM file, it will ask you if you'd like to set this data as your original budget. Alternatively, a second method of setting up your DM project is by manually inputting the project directly into the DM model itself from scratch. To do this, you'll need to enter your project's global parameters, including the project's descriptions, cost and revenue escalations, sales commissions, financing details, and hurdle rates. All these inputs can be found in the setup sheet. The details of your costs and revenues are then entered in the input assumption section of your cash flow sheet. This is indicated by a yellow strip across the top of the page. For ease of use, all the cells that require input are in blue font. And the cash flow sheet is divided into sections vertically based on various project cost types, revenues, and financing options. For each cost item, you will input a description, how you would like your item to reforecast. There are four reforecast settings you can choose from, and reforecasting allows you to adjust how your project cost or revenue is reforecasted in the cash flow as the project progresses. You then choose how your cost is calculated, whether it's a percentage of another cost or whether it's a base rate per unit. Then you can select the month start and month span for the item and an applicable escalation rate. These escalation rates can be customized in the escalation table we saw earlier in the setup sheet. And further along in your input assumptions you do have the option to apply an S-curve which can be customized in the S-curve tab. Further down the sheet in the revenue section you can enter different types of revenue including sales and their associated selling costs rental revenue and their associated leasing costs, other income and financing costs. This allows you to model all types of development projects in DM. Once all the cost and revenue assumptions have been made, a periodic cash flow table will be automatically generated, represented by the blue line at the top of the screen. The cash flow table can also be converted into a Gantt chart, which provides a visual representation of the project's timelines and assists you in scheduling and the timing of your project. The DM model also provides great flexibility by enabling you to define numerous preferences, such as currency, taxation formats, customized hurdle rate calculation methods, and the ability to automate your budgets. All this allows you to change the way your product works to suit your business or your property type. When your project is originally set up, you'll set up your original budget. But in addition to your original budget, DM allows you to set up two alternative budgets, your project budget and your previous budget. This allows you to track historical budgets against actuals. As forecasted costs and revenues are updated with actuals, the DM model will show any negative or positive variation against those budgets which have been set as the project moves forward. These variations are tracked in the forecast summary section of the cash flow represented with a purple strip across the top. Once you've set up your project's assumptions and budgets and your project is live, you can then update the cash flow with actual costs and revenues in three different ways. Firstly, you can manually input your actuals directly into the DM cash flow. Secondly, to minimize the risk of human error and reduce time spent doing manual entries, you can configure and automate DM to import your actuals directly from your accounting systems, whether they be Myob, SAP, Oracle, Voyager, or any other system. And finally, you can opt to update the project's cash flow by adjusting the assumptions directly. For example, if costs or revenue forecasts themselves need to be adjusted. Once your project is live and you're updating your cash flow month by month with actuals, you can review the project's performance in the following reports. First, the forecast summary in the cash flow sheet. 
This gives you a rundown for each budget and variation line by line, including all three of your saved budgets, the variations to those budgets, the actual cost to date, the total cost to date, and the forecast to completion. In the summary sheet, you can review all the revenues, costs, and performance indicators compared with previous forecasts and budgets. Since DM saves the previous month's forecast, you can easily check how the project is tracking as well as reference back to the original feasibility. In this example, we can see an increase in various costs totaling over $5 million since the original budget. Because the project is being tracked on a month-by-month -month basis, DM provides the means to determine why this change has occurred and what the current position is. A subsequent $2.7 million adjustment in revenue has been implemented to offset this. Further down the page, we can compare all our basic key performance indicators for each saved budget. Indicators such as development margin, net present value, internal rate of return, and equity internal rate of return. In this example, we can see the development margin and the internal rate of return have both decreased steadily until steps are taken in the current month. In the Returns on Funds Invested section at the bottom of the summary sheet, further details are provided about the project including the original equity position compared with the current equity position, every layer's peak exposure and payback dates, and subsequent variances per layer. In the chart sheet, you are provided with a graphic layered representation of debt exposure and profit, a graphic representation of the current and historical budgets compared to each other, and a projected profit chart which measures the changes in the forecast profit throughout the life cycle of the project. In the Financials tab, you will have a Profit and Loss Statement, which summarizes the project's revenues, costs, and expenses incurred during a specific time period. And you have a balance sheet which summarizes the company's assets, liabilities, and shareholders' equity at a specific point in time. DM also features risk analysis tools such as a sensitivity sheet and a probability sheet, both of which provide further analysis of your project and its sensitivity to changes in various assumptions. One of the key value propositions with the State Master software is its ability to allow the user to create their own client-specific reports and calculations, either from scratch or from importing an existing Excel spreadsheet and then dynamically linking those reports to or from a State Master data. Here you can see an example of importing an existing Excel spreadsheet and the unique ability to link your own data into a State Master. If you are modeling a stage development, a State Master DM allows you to allocate any cost or revenue to a specific stage, and then you can break down these costs and revenues on a stage by stage basis in the stage cash flow sheet. The DM cash flow sheet also allows you to dedicate global costs and to allocate these costs across your stages on a percentage basis. And if you have any repeated and specific types of projects, projects throughout different regions or specific financial structures, you can create a State Master DM templates. In these templates, you can configure inputs, preferences, display settings, and even custom worksheets. You can then use this template to start all new projects of that type with all your preferences and settings ready for you. And all Estate Master products are provided with the Estate Master Enterprise Database. This is an SQL database which allows a user to store all development cash flows, whether they be in DF or DM, into a central location. When used in conjunction with Estate Master CC, Corporate Consolidation and Reporting, it allows users to generate consolidated and comparison reports of selected cash flows, projects, or portfolios and to calculate forecast and actual investment returns including development profit, internal rate of return, and net present value. The State Master DM is also fully equipped with many tutorial options if you need guidance on how to use the model. If you highlight any of the titles in the setup sheet or the cash flow sheets, you will receive handy tool tips on how to do the inputs for your model. In addition, there's a handy help menu in the top right hand side of the toolbar. 
If you don't find the answers to your questions there, then visit www.estatemaster.com for a comprehensive list of training dates in your area or our contact details for the Estate Master's support desk. Why not try Estate Master DM for yourself? Visit www.estatemaster.com for a free 14-day trial. And if you have any further questions, please contact us at any of our global offices.